Alright. At least we both get a Wooster. Stalingrad can be. Well, has a defense fire by default, but still. And Diem. Oh, we have a Grosvoy. Actually, has a defensive fire as well. That's pretty good. He's vulnerable. Hello chaps, I am fine. I am well. Um, I've just bought myself a new floor, uh, which will arrive in two weeks, because we want to get rid of this carpet, which is old and manky, and um, we're going to get a hard floor. And my car just got back from its service, and it's going to cost me 600 plus pounds. <laughs> so, in one day I just instantly spent lots of money. Hooray! I knew the car would need some work, but it was a bit, hmm. Well, that one better than I expected. I don't know what he was trying to do there. He actually had me pretty close. Well, I need to move up just in case they're going this way. <clears throat> I probably have free reign for the brief amount of time. He's got high explosive dive bombers. on the back. I'm going to attack Stalingrad now, maybe try and dive bomb him after. Given how quickly they're dying, I'm guessing that's Hold on, that's AP shots incoming. The TB's died so quickly that was probably the Wooster that did the defensive fire there, which is kind of frustrating. Oh my god. Absolutely slammed by deep water torps through the gap. Second defensive fire. 
frustrating to the least. That's probably just the Stalingrad one, which lasts 60 seconds. But by the time that's finished, the Wooster's no longer going to be. I was typing, so back up. I'm typing, which allows him to get a strafe in on me, and I'm not paying attention. <sighs> he could dodge that, he could reverse it. No, oh, he actually flies into it, so I get lucky. I'll try and hit the Wooster this time. Yeah, it's something, but double defensive fire ships working together is quite tricky. These two are going to be safe from that, but the problem is if they push hard, they're not going to be able to escape. Spot the planes for him. Yuang over here. Let's go try and find them. him into the Worcester's AA maybe. I mean we're in the lead kind of but it's not a long guarantee this Montana's gonna get absolutely slammed as well. And the Yu Yang. This all comes down to one mistake. One little mistake where I wasn't paying attention, was typing, telling people what to do, which one fighter got gamped, so he loses 20-30k health because I'm not paying attention. I'm not focused. So tilting, it didn't activate. I swear to God, it was active. I'll keep him perma spotted. And the Grosvoy was getting pushed. He knew it was going to happen. He had to back off, but he didn't. Oh, the Yu Yang's at the same position. He's, he's too aggressive. So hold on, hold that thought. This guy's too aggressive with his fire plane. I don't know where he's going or what he's trying to do. I'm not even ping. Oh, come on. That's gonna miss now. Just. And this guy's gonna live because there's no AP bombs, but he's so aggressive. It's like, what are you guys trying to pull here? Oh, and the Yamato's gonna get torped by a second wave. Bingo. Well done. The thing is, is the Stalingrad going to slam the Wooster, which he totally can. It's going to forward shoot. I think I'm going to AP bomb this Yamato because he's damaged and just see if I can't help get him killed because the two cruisers have got defensive fires. This is not going to go anywhere. Two bombs, RNG says, okay, we're fine. Oh, 
Oh, he got his shots off. Still two for two, but we're down on caps, and where am I going? I probably shouldn't do this. Try and do something on this guy. He's going to try and torp him. I mean, what are you planning to do? You have perfect vision. His ship spoiled me, so I need to tail myself up so we can't. Oh, and here comes the torps. What? What? Am I even watching? You you guys saw that right? He just he just the shimmer just pushed him. I don't know where he is. I can't get any follow up torps on. Uh, it, it'd be too risky. But we're gonna lose now. I mean, we're even on points. And we're down on caps. We're down on a ship as well. I mean, I could uh, uh, might as well torp this guy and try and do as much damage as possible. Yeah, let's do that. to find the destroyer. I don't think I'd get to see in three minutes. Might be able to AP bomb the Stalingrad though, even with through a defensive fire. If we can kill him, we might get the point lead. Yeah, we'd get point lead. Don't know if we'd win first though. Go. Still not gonna win first. They're gonna cap first. Boom. If he's stationary I might get a good hit on him. If to kill that Shimmer, or the Yamato needs to kill that Wooster, whatever works, you know. Well, we need to get killed though, we will lose by the end. I'm going to slow down because I don't want to go straight on. We'll have these guys over. Come on, hit him. Come on. Still a torp. Oh, bingo. Up speed, get the TVs. Over there, over there. We can still lose this because theoretically if the Wooster by some miracle kills the Yamato and I'm not putting out of this game because I've seen the crazier stupid shit happen. <sighs> still, it should have been that stupid. It, it, like, their CV was bad, but like, what did this parp do? I mean, that was, that was so retarded. Just parking there, and the Shimmer comes around waiting for his torps, torp, torp. Even if he dies, he kills you off, which is a bigger threat. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he didn't know the DD was there. I was freaking spotting him. The whole time. He could have exited full north. Yes, there's a battleship looking at him, but you can't allow a destroyer to go around the corner like that. A thousand points. 
Oh my goodness! <sighs> no puffy cam? Chillaxing, you know? <laughs> 